Hey there, this is Mama Mythos, and today we're on another journey. This time, we're going to Egypt. Join me as we learn about the god Anubis and his trusty Lady Executioner, Amut. Let's begin. Anubis, the god of mummification, wearer of hearts, protector of tombs, and guide of souls. Anubis was depicted as a black jackal, known as such because in the desert necropolis, the Egyptian golden jackals raided shallow graves and devoured the helpless deceased. The early Egyptians needed a deity to protect the dead, and who better than a jackal god? And it goes without saying that the color black is represented as death. In what's referred to as the Jumahat Papyrus, Set, Osiris's evil brother and god of chaos, attempted to attack the deceased body of Osiris by transforming himself into a leopard. Anubis stopped and subdued Set, and he branded his skin with a hot iron rod. Anubis then flayed him and wore his skin as a warning against grave robbers who would desecrate the tombs of the dead. Priests who attended funerary ceremonies actually wore leopard skin to commemorate Anubis' victory over Set. The legend of Anubis branding the height of set in leopard form was used to explain how the leopard got its spots. This story possibly ties into how Anubis got his role in the first place, by piecing Osiris' body back together without evidence of its destruction, making Osiris appear whole. One of the many roles of Anubis was Guardian of the Scales. A scene depicting the weighing of the heart in the Book of the Dead shows Anubis performing a measurement that determined whether the person was worthy of entering the realm of the dead by weighing the heart of a deceased person against Ma'at. This refers to the ancient Egyptian concepts of truth, balance, order, harmony, law, morality, and justice, which was represented as an ostrich feather. Souls heavier than the feather would be devoured by Amut, and souls lighter than the feather would ascend to a heavenly existence, immortal and among the presence of Osiris within the field of reeds. Amut, soul eater, devourer of hearts, funerary deity, final death place. Amut was a female goddess portrayed as a lion, hippopotamus, and Nile crocodile, the three largest man-eating predators known to Egyptians, which influenced her as a demoness rather than a goddess to be worshipped. Amit was the final executioner, waiting beside the scale of justice for her next meal. If the heart was judged as impure, the demoness would devour it, and the person undergoing judgment was not allowed to continue their voyage towards immortality. Once Amit swallowed the heart, the soul was believed to become restless forever. Amut struck fear in the hearts of many Egyptians, no pun intended. Why? Because once she devoured your heart, that was considered a second death. She is sometimes depicted as being beside a lake of fire, where hearts would be cast within to be incinerated. So I guess one version she prefers her hearts raw, another she prefers them barbecued. Let's go ahead and talk about what our favorite portrayals are, first starting with Anubis. My favorite portrayal of Anubis is in Assassin's Creed Origins. You undergo the trial of Anubis, which is pretty amazing reference to the power one might imagine Anubis would possess if met with hostility. He summons minions to slaughter you, hyenas engulfed in flames aggressively attack you. All the while, Anubis is over here resurrecting bone barriers and sandstorms just to make your life a little more difficult and give you a taste of the power of the underworld. No doubt any mortal would find this fight immersive and taxing on the soul. Now let's talk about our demoness of the hour, Amut, and her best portrayal. We're all familiar with Tomb Raider. In this game titled Temple of Osiris, you're met with Amut, and she's hungry. She chases you down, forcing you to overcome a variety of obstacles that require accuracy and impulse to escape her clutches. Amut looks just as one might imagine she'd be, and nothing can satiate her, not at this size. Okay guys, I'm loving all the feedback I'm getting from these videos so far. If you enjoyed this video, take a look at my other videos, like the ones you love, subscribe if you want to see more, and don't forget to share this along with your other myth junkies and TV huggers. I'll see you next time, and thanks again for letting Mama break down the mythos.